Chris, hey, what you doing in the backyard? What's up? What do you guys want? We want you to tell us about your tattoos. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Some good juice. Sick day, that. Mm. Ah, man. They all mess with me. All right, I'm going to show you my tattoos. Right here, we have. This is an Umbreon. It's, it's still healing. I got it a couple days ago from my brother in law. Uh, if you don't know what this is, if you look at my hoodie, you're looking directly at it. Every single part. Uh, backstory of the Umbreon. It's my favorite Pokemon. Like, come on. I played Pokemon Go and found it in the backyard one time. But, uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, ah! My buddy, Medusa. Oh, it's my sock. I, we don't want my sock. But, uh, this one. <laughs> Let me sit down. I'm too drunk. Okay, this one right here. I got. I got this for my brother-in-law too. I like, I hate, I like Greek mythology. And, and um, I, I'm a big, look, to me, Medusa's hot, okay? Like, don't, don't touch me. <laughs> yeah, I like her too. All right, the two meanings of these, autism awareness, cervical cancer awareness, because my ex fiance's mother died of cervical cancer. Uh, what tattoos do I have? Oh man, let's get my sweater. If you guys are wondering why I wear a sweater in the summer, then I'm not answering that question. Uh, we have my, ah, this right here. Now if you mind zooming out, I'm gonna tell you the story of this one right here. It's not even that long, not even that short. But, uh, yeah, no one cares about my sweater. But, uh, this one right here, there's only 16 made. Me and my gaming crew all have this symbol on our arm. And yeah, it looks like the Gears of War logo, but it's not. We are the Mechanical Empire. We are the Chaotic Trolls gaming crew. This is me. <laughs> my surrogate son drew this. And there's a tree in the back. But uh... When I had a fedora, if you guys seen older videos, I look like that. I'm as skinny as a scarecrow. She put, see Sparkle puts me up every Halloween in the front yard and she's like, scare the kids. <laughs> Man, I do a horrible job. I'm pretty lazy when I do it. But, uh, David, I need your help. You know what? Uh, I'll do it. The last one's on my back. Okay. Your phone's okay. Oh, that's what, the, oh, that's what that was? The last one is Anubis. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know, right? But, uh... I'm in Rasan. Now, Anubis, there's a reason. And, by the way, the whole back tattoo is not done yet, but I'm gonna have Anubis in to my to my left, Ra to my right. My life written in hieroglyphics. Every single crazy thing I have done will be written on my back. From the time I... Man. I took these little... On, on one fourth of July, I took these little smoke bombs and just threw them all into a school bus. Gassed the whole school bus down. There was no, there was no one in it. There was no one in it. Good. But it's the fact that there was like, you know, colors everywhere. They walk in there. They looked at, I didn't know there were cameras on the school bus. But man, I didn't get in trouble either. Okay, I did. I'm lying to you. But... In technical, I didn't get in trouble. Detention's nothing. But uh, there's also another time I'm gonna put right here on my, right here where the rib cage is at. And this is when I first, you know, uh, I might just do like the whole one spark thing, or I might do Disney Quest, where it's just me as a monkey just playing video games or something. But uh, my whole body's gonna be full of different things. Tattoos to me, look, I'm 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 an ironic priest in my church, and yeah, people say tattoos are bad, but they're not. Tattoos are art, works of art. Now, the person could be bad, but example, I can, I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm using myself as an example for the safety of the innocent. Uh, if I were to have a pentagram on my bicep, and I, I know everybody, I'm a good person, to be honest, I, I wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay, I would hurt a fly because I just hate flies, but I wouldn't hurt people. But if you don't judge people for their appearances, 
you judge them for their personality and how they are towards you. Like, I have, some of my band members, we all have, like, you know, hidden tattoos that, like, okay, there's hidden tattoos I can't even show you guys. There's one. That's the barcode, and then there's the, there's the seal of the band. The seal of the band is, it looks like a pentagram, but it's not, it's more of a heartogram. Mine is more Cthulhu. <laughs> We each have different things to represent what we were before we joined the church. I was a Buddhist. I know, shocking. But at the same time, before then, I was also a Satanist. Now, know me, I don't do that anymore, because, well, come on, I'm, I'm happy in my church. I'm rock on. Now, me, I'm in the church, but I'm still metal. I'll put on my black nails, reason being pride. Uh, the barcode tattoo was, <laughs> There's no story behind that. We were just bored. And uh, one time at Kmart, uh, this is a Kmart in Gainesville, I walked right out. The sensor went off. I'm a product, and you know what it's scanned for? Toothpaste. <laughs> I'm toothpaste, so I'm fresh. Fresh off the boat. <laughs> But uh, that's all the tattoos I have. Um, I'm planning on getting new tattoos of different things. There's going to be a tattoo where I, to be honest, I, I haven't decided. But it's either the choice of having Rayquaza, which is a legendary Sky Dragon Pokemon that lives in the ozone layer, or get this. Now, we all know I'm a pirate by heart. I am the biggest pirate you'll ever meet. So I'm going to put the Jolly Roger right here, probably go around this, no, I'm not going to cover it, but go around this and put like, you know, the Unholy Maiden, which is a little boat that I built for the Boy Scouts one time. When I was in the Boy Scouts, we had a little boat race. My boat was the Unholy Maiden. It never sunk. I put bubble wrap. Perfect strategy. Uh, so I'm going to put a pirate scenery in my arm. Reason being, come on, I love pirates. I love cyber pirates. I love, I don't care what kind of pirates they are. As long as they go, arr, I'm fine. But uh, YouTube, thank you for telling me to tell you about the tattoos. I, I will be happy to tell you any more. Uh, I used to do tattoos, really, but uh, not really. I will tattoo myself now, so I might as well just finish myself off. Uh, if, word of advice. If you get a tattoo, please make it something that symbolizes you. Don't just get something random because you think it's cool. Make sure it, it reminds you of yourself. Tattoos are who you are when you have one. It, it, a resume. It is a resume of, hey, this is me, this is my story. These are my tattoos and these are my story. And I want to know your story soon. So if you have any tattoos, please send a comment. I would love to listen to it. And the funner ends in Sea Sparkle's corner. Nor does it end in my head. I'm very schizophrenic. So. Uh, and a uh, tip. Um, I'm not trying to interfere. A tip. You are fine. Before you start making sure a tattoo, make sure you fully take care of it so you don't get an infection. Yeah, like mine. I make I, sure you prepare to take care of it, and uh, make sure you don't because the risk of infection is great. And if you're wondering why I'm patting it, itches. It's it's in its peeling process, so it's. Why don't you tell them about taking care of it and preventing infection? Oh, that's just different ways. Okay, that's it. All right, so listen here. There's many different ways you can help your tattoo become nice and beautiful like this one. It's still, this is actually how the coloring is in this one too. That's how the coloring is. That's how I lighted I wanted it. Because I'm very dark. -toned. But, uh, <laughs> please use a &D ointment. It's recommended by some people by tattoo artists but I would go more you know non-scented lotions don't use baby lotion please don't but use non-scented items do not use aloe or aloe vera you are messing up your tattoo big time I accidentally used it when I went through my eczema phase at work for this tattoo but but I still won gone but not forgotten that's what it means. Get it? The message. It's fading away, but you still see it. Gone, but not forgotten. It's slightly gone. The memory's not forgotten, because it's there. But other ways to... I don't know. But uh, 
Other ways you can take care of your tattoo is uh, when you first get it, don't take a shot when you get home. There's gonna, I know there's gonna be a lot of blood on you and all that. That's normal, cause you know you just got cuts. You got little tiny cuts into you. It's not gonna kill you. Don't put rubbing alcohol on it. My little brother learned that lesson last time. And boy, did I drop laughing. Look, I'm, I'm not mean, but I had to drop laughing for that. Like, that, it is hilarious. Because I've never seen someone do that. Um, when you get a tattoo, just know there are a certain places in your body. I don't care if you're muscular, if you're fat, or if you're skinny. It'll still hurt. This hurt. The outline, no. The coloring, yes. Because coloring, you're just basically going... You're just coloring it all in, layer by layer, because it goes from dark to light. Careful where you get it. And if you're going to get a tattoo on your rib cage, you better have something to bite down. Or tell them to use Hush Cream. It'll numb, it'll numb your skin down for about a couple hours for the whole tattoo duration. But when it clears out, you'll feel the sting. I don't use Hush Cream because I want to... Look, tattoos hurt, I know it, but it's the thought that counts about them. You're earning something on your skin. And hush cream, if, look, don't be a pansy, don't use hush cream. Just take like a man. See, back then, they never had the cream. You got tattoos, even in prison, they give you tattoos, and there ain't no hush cream. You're gonna get poked. And those take longer than actual tattoos, and they're very unsanitary, so please don't do that. No homemade tattoos. Go to a professional. Or do like I did. I earned my license, got my tattoo gun, did it myself. I am sanitary. I'm also safe surf certified. That's for food, though. But, but uh, that's pretty much it. But the fun never ends in Sea Sparkle's corner, nor does it end in my head, because I'm, come on, I'm insane. Sea Sparkle found me in an asylum. She's like, oh, we're taking you. She came to an asylum thinking it's a free adoption. No, it says free drop off. She came in there, she's like, I want this one. <laughs> oh, you must be crazy, lady. I was like, sure, why not? I need to get out of here anyway. But, uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe <laughs> and comment and all that. And I will put drama me doing acting, which I might go to acting school for. Not really. But we'll see you later. Peace out.